Oh, that is gorgeous. It's nice. That's a good finish. Where's the opening? Oh, that is gorgeous. Hello, fashion sellers. I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely, and on my channel, I do lots of refashioning of old or even new clothing. And also, as a bonus, whatever techniques that I'm using within the refashioning, I will put links to those sewing techniques below this video, because I also have lots of sewing techniques on my channel also. So let's get started. I also like to challenge myself when it comes to refashioning because I really don't know what's going to happen or, you know, I've got an idea in my head that I want to go with. So we know we're going to make the shirt the project, so refashioning the shirt and taking elements from the dress in order to give this shirt this kind of new look, this new style. And I hope it's going to work my idea that I have. Um, I will walk you through the video about the reasons why I'm doing certain techniques and the reasons why I'm not and um, I may actually introduce fabric but not in this video but generally speaking that also could be an option when it comes to refashioning because I've got lots of fabric. So let's get started on the project. So this is the shirt that I'm going to transform and the dress, we're going to be taking elements from the dress in order to jazz up this shirt. I love the colours. There's a, a mixing of um, prints. So we've got the stripes here and we've got this kind of paisley print that's on this dress. And yeah, so we start with this shirt first. Shirt first. And I'm trying to walk you through how I would approach a project when I'm not really sure what the results are going to be at the end, which I'm not going to be sure with this particular project. So when you are struggling with that sort of dilemma, um, it's always, always think about what part of the garment you like the most or the part of the garment that you need to take away things in, in order to improve it. And I think that's going to be the case with this. I know there's a bit of, um, you can see there on the collar where it's starting to rub away. So I know I don't have an option. I need to remove the collar because I don't, I, I don't want that there. I just don't like it. So the collar is definitely going to be removed, mainly because of that section there. And I'm going to remove the cuffs because I'm thinking that I might want the cuffs to be a detail towards the back and adding the front part of the dress to the front of the shirt and you may be thinking how am I going to get into it we'll work on that as we as, as we go through the um through the project so, but yeah let's start with removing the collar and the cuffs from the shirt okay so it's just a case of getting the your seam ripper and inserting it into the seam and the stitching and just gently just remove it So the cuffs and the collar are now removed. So we have the collar stand and we have the sleeves that have no cuffs on the ends. So the next thing we need to do is to put this to one side. Now, what I like about the dress is the shearing and I want the shearing to be the cuff for the sleeves. And they also want, so I'm going to use the back of that in order to provide myself with the cuffs for the sleeves. And the front, I'm also going to keep the shearing as well and use the top part of the dress. So let's start with that first. Let's go inside. Okay. Not the best quality dress. Um, it's just the colour and the... Um, pattern that I really like. So this is going to be the end of the cuff, the scallop edge here. So I'm going to cut along the seams here. Okay. 
We'll go inside actually. It's quite long. The seam. I'm keeping that part, that may be part of the front of the shirt. I'll stop out there. And then I'm going to cut along here and then up the other side. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. That's what I'm left to work with. So I'm going to fold it in half. So I have a cuff for each sleeve. Put my hand here. I can always use pins for this. It looks really small, but it should be okay because it is shearing. So it should, I should be able to get my hand in there pretty easily, as you can see. Yep, brilliant. So I'll put that to one side. I'm thinking about maybe I should do the sleeve first before cutting the front, just in case I may want more of it. I don't know, or less. I won't want less for sure. I may just cut it the same as I've done with the back. But let's just focus on the sleeve for now. So it'll be a case of me going to my sewing machine, folding it in half, and then sewing all the way down. The cuffs are now complete, they're now sewn. This is going to be the edge of the cuff and this is what's going to be this part here is going to be sewn onto the sleeve so we now need to get our shirt and get the sleeves to our shirt and we are going to keep the shirt on the right side and find the seam the underarm seam and then we're going to keep the cuffs on the wrong side and we're going to place the cuff onto the sleeve so we want to make sure the finished side goes on first like so and just put it onto the sleeve do the same with the other side you're going to need some pins for this so it looks like this so i'll start with this one get some pins and I'm going to match up the seam in the cuff with the seam in the shirt like so now you've got two ways in which you can deal with this opening here I'm gonna have them quite close together it's gonna to close it like that just a little but you can literally it goes that way doesn't it cover it like so like the original shirt it's up to you it's your choice but i just want it slightly open so and then it's going to be a case of then because it should hopefully i'm sure it will do just put a pin in there for a moment yeah see me opening it out like so that means I should, yeah, it will definitely be able to fit because of the shearing, the elastic that's in the cuff and then I should be able to sew that all the way around. So I'm happy with the placement of that. So I'll put a pin in here and I'll continue to put pins in all the way around. So now I'm going to sew around the cuff and the sleeve. Now that is sewn into position, all I need to do then is just either overlock, serge, or zigzag around the raw edge. So 
The sleeves are now complete. This is the wrong side. And neaten the edge, zigzagged all the way around. Remember, you can overlock, you can serge. This is the right. Yeah, that's really gorgeous. Right, I'm going to try one on. I'm so eager to try. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is nice. That's a good finish. Where's the opening? Oh, that is gorgeous. And if you wanted to, you could always pull it down as well. Because it's quite... That is cute. Yes. It's going to be a gorgeous shirt, I can tell. Okay, so the sleeves are now complete. They're finished. The seams are finished off. The edges are neatened. We now need to focus on the front. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit tricky. Let me put this on the inside, make the cutting a little easier. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. Let's get the shirt. I'm going to cut this away. This is annoying me. Labeling on the inside. You know, if you are going to sell any of your refashions, don't cut away the labels. It's a good idea to keep them in there. Okay. Let me just mention while I'm straightening this out that any techniques that I'm using in this project, I'll put links to them below this video. So please do check those out. Yeah, that's how, I think what's going to have to overlock, zigzag stitch, this edge here, and maybe just turn it, that's what I'm going to need to do with that raw edge. So it a, gets a frill effect to there and then put it into the sides like so. And because it's elasticated, I should still be able to get into the top. Okay, so I'll neaten this edge here and then I'll sew it onto the shirt. That's what I'm going to do next. Sew along there. Okay, it's now sewn. Just show you the back. So I've done a narrow hem there. And that's how it looks at the front, so pretty. Okay, so we now need to attach this to the shirt. And you remember early on when we cut away the back of the dress and we kept the seam of the, to the front, we're now going to use, that's a good idea to do that because it means there's gonna be no frame when we come to sew it to the front and we don't need to finish anything off. So your shirt should be nice and flat the sleeves out the way and then get your top section okay so this is the right side I'm working on and the right side of your top needs to be facing down so right side to right side and we're going to pin along the seam of the shirt so up from the underarm Pin, you need to pin and then do small basting stitches because you're going to need to try this on to make sure it's in place and you're happy with the placement of it. Like so. And then just pull that together it's a bit, pull it over. And do the same on the other side. couple of pins in. There we go. So 
it should look like this. It should look like this at this stage. So you put your pins in, your base stitch, and once you've done that, this is how it works. You then flip it to get it to the right, to the right side. So once you've done that and you're happy with the placement and you've sewn it, you flip it through like that. Your seams will be nicely sewn and tucked on the inside. And there we have it. You'll be able to button your shirt. You'll be able to pull it over your head because this stretches. That's great. Looking nice already. So what I'm going to do now is obviously sew this into position base stitch, try it on. If I'm happy with it, then I'll, and then I'll machine sew and then we'll focus on what's happening at the top of the shirt here. I have tried it on. I am so happy with the fit. One thing I really do like about it is the fact that I can have different sleeve styles, which is amazing, which is really good. Um, so yeah, totally happy with the fit. Um, so yeah, so what I did, I went, I went, I went ahead and machine sew. So let me just show you that now. So that's now sewn into place. So it's the other side. Just remove the basting stitch. There we go. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way. It's all turned out. One more last piece of sewing to do to the section is going to be to the collar here. This is the last bit to do and then it's ready to be worn. Now see I'll style it up for you. So so what I'm going to do then with this, it's just really a case of going to your sewing machine and stitching it closed all the way around. I just have to remove all these um, loose threads and it just may take a little bit of time and it's just a case of just put pins in and then it's done. The top is complete and looks amazing. Okay, so I'm now going to try it on and show you what it looks like. So this is the finished product, the finished project, and these sleeves, oh, they are amazing, three ways. So I've got them resting on my knuckles, so I can have them like that, and that is just gorgeous, and I can have it on my wrist bone, just cover my wrist bone, and there we go, just reach up the sleeves a little bit like so and then I can even pull them up even further like so and perhaps wear bangles and bracelets oh, oh it's cute that is a really cute top I'm just looking in the mirror here so excuse me for that but yeah and this feels really comfortable I could have it slightly tight if I wanted to let me just show you like that there isn't that much difference, but if I just turn to the back, you can see how much arm needs to take in at the back. And you should still be able to get into it. It's very easy to get into as well. But no, I'm happy with the results of this project. It's really turned out really well. So happy with it. Really professional look and finish to the top, the sleeves. <gasps> yeah. Well, I surprised myself with this project. The sleeves, um, yeah, the sleeves could be worn in a few ways, which is really good. I like the fact that they're super long, so I can have them almost touching my knuckles. I can pull them up, so it gives a kind of like a, a ruffled effect to the sleeves. And um, yeah, there's three different ways I can really wear the sleeves and give it a different look. Really liking that. Um, it's, it's quite loose fitting, but I don't mind that. I could, if I wanted to, kind of pull it in at the back 
um, that's also an option and I could use the cuffs to do that um, but no the cuffs going to be used in another project but you know I'm here to inspire you so if that's what you want to do then you're more than welcome to do that because it will actually pull it in a little bit but it's so easy to get over your head and that's because of the shearing that's um, in the dress section that I've used so it easy pulls over your head but no I am totally happy with this project yeah so all that is left for me to say is um, please do share this video with your friends on your social media um, please do give it a thumbs up I don't think I've left anything out oh yeah if you have any comments or queries please put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time